Uh, those who don't know me, I'm Kurt Hess. Uh, currently live outside of Columbus in Worthington. I'm a fifth grade teacher, uh, master's in educational administration. Uh, to start today, I just want to say thank you to the Athletic Department and the Hall of Fame Committee, um, as well as any other Penguin alumni and Penguin Club members here today. Um, you've contributed everything to us. Uh, you've been supporters this whole time. Uh, contributed to facilities, coaches, teammates, support services, scholarships that made really all of our careers possible. Uh, so thank you today. Uh, to all the family, friends, um, and loved ones of all the athletes here today, thanks again for being there again. Um, you seem to always show up when we need you the most, um, and we had to bring you here one more time. Um, I know specifically in my close circle, it felt like every week my mom and dad were organizing travel uh, from Dayton, Ohio, and we have a huge family, so it felt like every week somebody new was coming and we were getting a chance to talk to them. Um, my mom and dad, obviously my godparents who are here today, uh, Aunt Donna and Uncle Matt, um, Nick, Jess, their kids, Hannah, Micah, Emily, and Lennox, um, Allie and Pete, thank you, Heidi and Tyler, um, sorry, my wife Sarah, kids Nora and Lila, uh, as well as my in-laws Ken and Laura, Rachel and Kevin, and their kids Mia and Leo. Um, thank you so much for everything that you've done um, throughout the years. Uh, you always reminded me that family wasn't too far away, um, and that, that went a long way. I often look back on my time um, and how fitting it was here at YSU. Um, but there were so many people before that made it possible. Um, first, my mom, um, really for everything. But for always pushing me, being there for me, uh, giving me the drive to go after the things that I want. Thank you. Uh, my dad. <laughs> for filming and handling DVDs when we were getting recruited out of high school. <laughs> first thing I thought about when I was writing the speech was, man, DVDs, those are really gone to the past. Um, making me feel old a little bit, but also for taking me to the, all the camps that we went to together. Um, also showing me about leadership, how to work as a team, and, and how to be relentless. Thank you. Uh, to each of my siblings, Nick, Allie, and Heidi, I remember way too many fights and games and competitions that we had, um, so I can't get into them too much. We have a running joke in my family that... Um, any game that we play, we always come up with a really creative name. And when it came to football, we just played offense versus defense. And it was just a running joke that we have now. And so thank you for playing offense, defense in the side yard. Um, as well as, you know, riding to and from school to workouts. I remember Nick and Allie taking me to workouts and to school. And Heidi, anytime we came home in the winter, I remember doing workouts in the basement. Um, sometimes those workouts turned into playing Dance Dance Revolution on the Xbox, um, mostly because my mom probably thought my footwork was too slow. So DDR, and Heidi and I helped, and she played volleyball, so any kind of footwork we could do on the Xbox, that was, that was important to us. Um, also, Allie, I'm apologizing officially in front of everybody for breaking your finger. Um, we went outside to work on my arm velocity, uh, ball velocity, and threw a really hard one and broke Allie's finger, so I apologize, I'm sorry. Um, to my coaches while I'm at CJ, uh, Coach Jim Place, as well as Coach Andy Helms, who's here today, a ton of parallels between my journey here um, at YSU and CJ. So you really helped me develop as a leader and as a player. Um, I felt prepared to run an offense, to lead a team, and to fight through adversity. And something that I know with the current college football landscape that's getting lost is getting benched. And I think that sometimes people do need to get benched and fight through some of that adversity. So I appreciate that and everything you did for me in high school. Um, to, during my time at YSU, I was uh, blessed to be surrounded by such incredible teammates and coaches. Uh, from my first touchdown pass to Don Bards at Penn State, to throwing a touchdown pass against Michigan State to one of my best friends, Jelani Barasa. Um, from beating Southern, uh, conference champion Southern Illinois in 2010, uh, to throwing five touchdown passes at Missouri State. Um, taking down Pittsburgh, the first Power Five conference win, first, first Power Five win in YSU history, um, and following that up by beating Northern Iowa, who we had lost to the previous 10 games, um, as well as beating number one North Dakota State in Fargo, and then the three game-winning drives that we had senior year. I will always have those football memories, but nothing means more, and I think a lot of the other speakers tonight have alluded to this, is the teammates and, and the friendships that we created. Um, 
as well as the lessons that we've learned along the way. So first and foremost, um, Youngstown State is where I met my wife, Sarah. I'm not sure that she knows this, but she was a good luck charm that I brought with us when we went to B. Pitt in 2012. Um, thank her for her support. I don't tell her enough, but she's incredible. Um, she's the mother of the two little girls that we have at the front table. I think one's in the back now. Oh, there she is being held up. Um, I want to officially apologize again for buying you the cheap drinks at Inner Circle the night we met. Um, but those two little girls, you'll find them uh, this fall or during spring games. Uh, they are known to crash the Paul Leiden suite for Sprite and cookies. So if you want to come see them, we'll be there this fall. Then there's the teammates, the coaches, and everyone in between. Some of my best friends like Kyle Searle, first roommate, guy I lived with for five years, taught me how to battle for my spot every single day, even though I was a starter. I had to battle. For real, I had to. And he never backed down from competition. So I took that from you, Kyle. Thank you. Matt Romeo, who's not here today, local Bourbon product, showed me the ropes of what it meant to be from Youngstown. Coach Sal Guayardo, one of the hardest workers we've ever had on the coaching staff out of Tampa, Florida. Sal. Um, guys like Carson Charbaugh and DJ Moss, who's here today, taught me about grit. Torian Pace taught me about faith. Guy who got inducted last year, my running back, Jermaine Cook, taught me how to embrace and love the everyday grind of being a college athlete. Um, guys like Jim Kinnick, Jelani Barasa, Chris Elkins, Chase Lemke, those guys were in my family while I was here. Kicker Dave Brown, Radak, Cinco, Freddie, Chuck, Don Page. Talk to these guys every day. It's incredible. Fantasy football, doesn't matter. Anything that comes up, we're talking about it. Every person here at YSU meant something to me. Coach Montgomery helped me develop as a player and a leader. Coach Carm worked his tail off, stayed overnight. Coach Carm's with the Giants right now. And three seasons in a row, and I know my mom appreciates this, three, three seasons in a row, we only gave up single-digit sacks. So, kept me up, right? Right, Mom? You like that one? Um, leadership from Ron Strollo, building a dang indoor facility while we were here. Coach Kopp, he's in the back. I mean, we talk about it all the time. He would do anything for you. Day or night, you call him. He was going to take care of it for you. Athletic trainers, JD, Jenna, Todd Berkey, academics with Maryland, who has already been mentioned. Equipment staff, Tim, Alvi, Carm, and all those guys. Even our boys, Roy and Don, in, in the stadium, just cracking us up and cheering us up every day. Everybody meant something here to me at YSU. And everything that we did on the field made a difference to those people, but I don't think they realized the difference that it did, that it made for us, too. That's what makes Youngstown State football so special. I always tell people that our 09 class that got recruited by John Haycock got the best of both worlds. Coach Haycock taught us about family. He taught us how to care about each other and really get to know everybody's stories. Um, Coach Wolf taught us how to live your life like a winner in everything that you did. Um, family, friends, class, workouts, films, didn't matter. If you could get 1% better every day for Wolf, you were going to be successful. Those are things that we still take. Coach Montgomery was my quarterback coach. He showed me what it was like to prepare like a true professional. Um, conduct yourself like a professional, professional not just in football, uh, but in everything. And I, I do that today as a father, as a husband, um, and then as, a, as an educator. I can't thank these men enough for the uh, impact that they've had on my life. But the one thing that Wolf said that stuck with me probably the most that I remember about my time here at YSU was coaches were meant to take you to a place where you couldn't take yourself. And that stuck with me while I played for them, sticks with me now about having that support system and those people who are around you, taking you somewhere you can't take yourself. YSU took me to a place I never knew I could go. And for that, I'm very thankful. It's an honor to be inducted today into the YSU Hall of Fame, um, and I'm proud to be a Penguin for life. Thank you.